What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be doing the reset password for a user that signed in with email and password. All right, so quickly what that's gonna look like, if you click the forgot password link there and then type in your email and hit submit, uh, email will be sent to that email that you registered with as long as you have an account. All right, let's get started. Firstly, we're going to add another auth form type. So after sign in, sign up, let's do a reset. And this will, this will tell us that we're on that password reset page. The next thing, uh, let's go ahead and add that button to only the sign in page. So find that function builds buttons here. And let's create a new variable to hold whether or not we want to actually show that button. So we can call this the show forgot password. And we're going to default that to false because we only want to really show this if the auth type is sign in. So if the auth type is sign in, then go ahead and set that to true. All right, so that's good. Now we have a way to determine if we want to actually display that button. Now that button itself, let's go ahead and create in its own function and it will just return that button, which is going to be a widget. The, I guess the, fu the function we can just call is show forgot password. And this is going to take that value that we just created that bool value um, and what we'll, that variable we'll call visible though so here we're going to return a flat button and it's going to have just the text of forgot password and then we just want to add a bit of style to make this white which is simply that line right there go ahead and add a colon at the end there and this needs one more comma uh, actually, simply like that. All right, that will give us our text. Now we need to do the on clicked, or on pressed rather. So when this is pressed, we actually are just gonna change the state to be that new state of the, of the password reset page. So that will be with like this written like this set state we're going to change that auth form type state to equal the new auth form type reset that we just created above all right so when we call this button right now we're not actually using that visible class and to to basically either show this button or not show this button based on if a true or false value is passed in here we can wrap this whole button in a widget called visibility and that visibility widget takes the child, which is going to be the button. And then it also takes this visible parameter and that we're going to pass the visible Boolean value from up here. So now either this, the, now this button will either be displayed or not based on when, what is passed in true or false. So we want that button to be actually above the, the switch button, but below the, the main button. So right here, we could call that and we're going to pass it the show forgot password variable that we created above. All right, so now if we run this, save and run this, we should see forgot password on the sign in page, but if we go to the create new account page, you'll see that it is not there, which is exactly what we want. Now, if you click the forgot password now, it's gonna just bring you to the sign in page um, and it actually removes the, removes the forgot password button as well but that's to be expected because of the way our logic is set up so i guess while we're in this build buttons we can update this if else statement at the top where we're setting basically the titles of our buttons and what we want to do when the buttons are clicked so when we get to the password reset page we need to change these variables a little bit so here we're going to change um, after the if statement for the sign in type we're going to do an else if we're going to say the auth form type equals the auth type of reset. So if, we're, if we are on that password reset page, we can set pretty much copy these three variables and modify them. So the switch button text, instead of saying create new account, we want this to go back to the sign in page. So we could say return to sign in. And then that means this new form state needs to be sign in. So this is basically linking, gonna link us back to the sign in with these two variables here. And then the submit button text can just say actually submit this time. 
because that will be that large button with just the email. Uh, all right, similar to what we just did here, we need to do something. We need to account for this new form type for the reset form type in our when we build our inputs. And actually, we're going to do this right at the beginning of this function. And we're going to say if the auth form type is the um, reset form type, we want to. And we can copy this because it is kind of similar, but we're going to be modifying things. We want to return it to one text field with the email validator. And we want to write email in here too. And also we want to make sure we're using that email variable to save our value in. So really we only want to display the email field. And then a little bit of spacing. And then we want to just return here. Uh, we want to return here this text fields because if we are on the reset password we don't want to we don't want to return really any of those other three and yes email is one of them but but because of the way the order will work this is kind of going to be probably the best way to do it it is a little bit redundant because we have the email text field written out here as well as below but um, I think this will be fine for now so now if we save it and hit forgot password, we'll see we have the email by itself, the submit button, and it has return to sign in. And return to sign in works. Uh, the last thing you might notice is this sign in title up here needs to be changed. And that's actually right above the build header text. It's very similar, just do an else if here and do the auth form type of the reset. And if that is set, we want our header text to be reset password. All right, so now that looks good. Um, looks like at this point, pretty much all of our functionality is working. One, I guess the one last thing is when we hit this submit button, we aren't, we don't have any way of handling that as of now. So if we go up to the submit function up here, we can, in the same way that we were doing with the other areas, use an else if and put, we can use an else if and use the auth form type, auth type of reset, and then handle that, handle the submit button for the password reset. Um, for right now, we can print out, we can just print out uh, password email sent. Uh, we haven't yet created that functionality, but also let's just go ahead and display one of those messages similar to how our error messages were. Let's actually rename our error messages va uh, variable to be a let's call it warning instead. So refactor that rename and we'll call it warning. All right, and then with this warning variable, we can just set a warning equal to, we could just say password, or we could say a password reset link has been sent to the email address that was typed in just to alert the user. Um, and then actually we also, when that's submitted, we want to reroute the user back to the sign in page. So that's pretty simple with the way this is set up. We can just set the state of our auth form type to equal the auth form type of sign in. All right, and so now if we save that and enter, if you just hit submit now, our form validation for email is kicking in, which is nice. Um, and then at this point we can you know, type in any email and hit submit. And this is not actually sending the email yet, but it does give us the nice warning and reroutes us back to the sign in page where the user can just simply type in their password after it's reset. So yeah, the last step here is to actually create that function to do the password reset. And this is pretty simple actually with our Firebase authentication. It handles a lot of it for us back in our auth services here right after sign out let's create a let's create a new future function 
and this is not going to return anything, but we'll call it send password reset email. And this will take just the email parameter as a string. Uh, again, this will be asynchronous because we're calling the Firebase, we're calling the Firebase backend. And we're going to return the we're going to return the Firebase off has a actual send password reset email functionality already embedded in it. So just go ahead and use that email value that's going to be passed in. And it's actually as simple as that. So now we just need to call that, which we will do right here in this else if that we just created. So go ahead and call that with a wait. And it is just the auth, which we already have defined, and the send password reset email. And it's just going to take that email parameter, which will already be saved on submit, because most of this is already set up from before. All right, now we can cancel out of this and pretty much go into the forgot password, try it with this email. Actually, since this is not a real email, I may actually create a new account with a working email so that I can show you that the reset password email is coming through. Uh, name will be Dave. Email can be one man startup and the password can be password for this fake account. All right, I'll sign into that, log out, go back to sign in, hit forgot password. Now my email was one man start up at gmail.com. Hit submit on that. We get our warning up here that the reset password link was sent and let me Pull up my email. It's actually not working quite yet. So I think what we need to do is go into the project settings in Firebase and then make sure that this support email is set up. Uh, I have it set to a Google group, but you could do it to any email. I did not have this set before. So go ahead and do that. So let's try that one more time. Oh, I forgot password here, submit. You can see it was sent, or it's saying it's sent down here. And let me check my email for it. Okay, I'm still not getting the email, so I restarted the app, and let me try it one more time. All right, that worked that time. So here's the email that I'm getting coming from Firebase, and you can see it's pretty generic right now, but it's saying that the travel budget will allow me to set my password if I click on this link. So if I go ahead and click on this link, it's going to open up a browser page right here and ask me to reset my password. So I'll just do password123. And if you remember before, it was password. So now we've updated the password. And we can try that new password here. If we try the old one as password and hit sign in, this is not going to work. It says the password's invalid. If we add that 123, which makes it the new password that we just reset, you'll see we're able to sign in. So our reset definitely worked. Um, to customize this template here that that is being sent out, as well as changing the name up there from the, e the from email, you can do that actually all right in the Firebase console. Uh, I'm not really going to go over that now, but I'll just show you where you can do it. If you go into sign or if you go into templates under authentication and hit templates, uh, you'll see that these templates right here, the password reset is one of them. You can kind of change stuff around. All right, great. So now users can reset their password if they forgot it. And the emails are all handled by Firebase, which is great for us. The we have a few more pieces left in our authentication process. We're gonna still do the Google and Facebook sign up, and then we're also gonna do anonymous login. So those videos are coming next, and then we'll get back into the fun part, which is actually building out the app and the features in the app. But this stuff is actually very valuable and necessary, and it will be used. I mean, you could reuse this kind of stuff for pretty much any app you do with uh, with authentication. All right. Ciao for now.